What's going on guys, it's Shane, we are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Milan, Michigan, school bus simulator owned by Milan Area Bus Services. Uh, they just had their second update apparently, and in this update there's basically this new um, spawn building and two new buses, the T3FE and Thomas C2. We'll be showcasing both, but only be driving one today. So... Uh, first, let's actually take a look at this building, which uh, looks pretty nice from the inside. Uh, you got your ownership there and uh, uh, showcase collection here, which is pretty cool. So this is uh, some of their buses in the game. They haven't added their C2 and T3 up here yet, but uh, you got two CEs, I guess, both different years. Um, one, ooh, that one's got storage units. Pretty cool. Uh, they did add like different year C uh, CEs too, like um, uh, and Bluebird Visions. Wait a minute, wait. I thought they only had CEs last time, or did they have Visions as well? I don't know. Um, but let's take a look around the building here. So very shiny in here. Oh, we got dispatchers in here. Oh, this is a cool little design. Uh. Got some three models here. And go down this way. And we got maintenance. Cool. Got a garage here. Uh, can you go through this garage? Oh, and we got a shift to sprint. Cool. That's good. So let's take a look at it from the outside here. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, would you say it fits the lot? Like, uh, visually speaking? I don't know. I've never been to this place, so I would have no idea. So let's actually spawn in the uh, C2 real quick. So it says 2018 through 2021. Uh, it's over here. So does that mean it's a, any year? But I guess it's can be it, it could probably be classified as a 2018 or 2021 or anything in between. I guess. Um. And I think this is the bus we'll be driving, but we're going to showcase the T3FE as well. Um, this bus is really lifted, isn't it? My goodness. Um, so let's open the inside here. Oh, it switches up here. And you got your insert key, all that stuff. It's a Huxley product. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Uh, so you got, I mean, you guys have seen this before. We do a lot of bus simulators, and I just fell through the back of the bus. Okay. So, you saw that. So, let's see the uh, T3FE. I don't know. We might want to drive the T3FE, though, depending on how it looks. It's over here. Actually, we are going to drive this. We're not going to drive the C2. We're going to drive this. I feel like there's more of a fan base for the T3FE. Uh, the uh, reverse lights come on when you open the back door. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's got major tent on the windows. Okay. The switch. Uh, we, oh, we got an engine cover. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Okay. A smooth plastic being used. Probably a Huxley thing, though. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and put the key there. Set here. Seatbelt on. And... Start it up. Got the dual fans there. And she starts. Okay. Alright. So. I don't know what we'd be doing today. I guess we could uh, do some sort of a an AM route, I guess. Uh, the sun looks to be at its peak almost. So. Let's go ahead and let's look at the lights here. So there's no indicator on the inside. Usually it'd be right there, wouldn't it? I don't know. What is that trying to get me to do? Oh, what? 
Oh, that's the um, the master switch, right? It, it turns on all of the stuff. That's cool. I didn't think that would be... Okay, it makes sense why it's right there, because it's probably the blue or yellow one, I assume. Okay. Cool. So, you guys got to see that. Let's do it one more time, because I didn't get a good look. Awesome. Okay, let's actually... I don't know why that got me out of my seat, but... Alright, we'll turn that off. Nope, did not mean to do that. Okay, let's go. We've wasted enough time. How are we on diesel? We're good on diesel. Okay, now if I can remember how to get out of here, we'll go left. I don't know if they did any map changes. Um. So I guess we'll just see, right? I will guess, I will guess, I guess we'll just see. So I guess we'll just start picking people up here. Why not? Go ahead and open these. Going up the other way. There we go. That'll work. Not a fan of these stop signs. They just look weird to me. I actually like the ones where the, uh, the LEDs are all around the stop sign. Uh, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen a game on Roblox with those yet. Uh... Or there might be one, I just haven't seen it. I don't know. And hopefully my mic's not going to have any issues today. I got to go through and check the properties because it seems like when I'm speaking too low, it's not, you know, it's leaving some stuff out. So i um, going to have to fix that. It keeps like kind of cutting me off or whatever. There's the high school. We showcased all that stuff last time. However, that gas station was not there. That's a nice addition. Not bad. I'm gonna turn here. Nope. Nope. We're gonna turn here. So this game is doing pretty good for itself. I actually took a look at it yesterday. I didn't join the game, but I saw the amount of players playing it. It was upwards of 30 players uh, on the game together, which was uh, pretty good, actually, for... I think it was for their release. I don't know if it was planned, if, you know, a notification was sent out to join, but there were quite a bit of people in the game, uh, which is great to see, you know, uh, new games when it comes to... Uh, Gathering players, it can be quite difficult. Uh, but once you establish sort of a, a fan base for your game, get them hooked and uh, produce multiple updates, uh, then they'll definitely come back. So that's good. But I will go ahead and suggest, like I do every game, <laughs> with these uh, billboard UIs, um, a simple uh, toggle on-off switch to disable them. That's very simple to do. Uh, if you need any help with it, uh, you can shoot me a DM and I will be more than happy to help you. So long as you give me credit, because I love credit. <laughs> I don't like doing things for free. I like helping a lot, but... You know. So, in other news, uh, TikTok is, like, very close to being banned. Um, here's the deal. It was sent to the Senate. Well, first it was sent to the House of Representatives, I believe. Uh, it was passed. Sent to the Senate. It was passed. And now it's being presented to Joe Biden, which he had already said... 
if it is sent to him, he will sign it. So we can almost guarantee that this is going to be taken into effect. However, if, you know, the company that owns TikTok does not sell it, um, it will be banned in the U.S. Now, if it were me in that position, as cocky as I am, and my pride will get the best of me, I wouldn't sell it. I most certainly would not sell it. Um, now, I don't think TikTok was actually made by that company. I think it was sold to them as well. I could be wrong. I don't know. I probably should have done my research first. But if it was indeed made by them, I would not sell it. Because you got to remind you, there are plenty of other countries in the world that can actually view TikTok, uh, I think. Uh, I know it's banned in, uh, it's banned in China, isn't it? Wait, is it? It's banned in its own country right i don't know i some of the stuff i hear is just it's either true or not true but uh if it is banned in the u.s you know obviously u.s is massive and that's probably where a lot of its uh viewership comes from so it will suck to lose all that but um here's the deal i can tell you what's going to happen it's probably going to get banned because they're not going to sell it and we're going to have some sort of replacement here in the u.s where it's going to be very identical to TikTok, uh, and it's going to kind of take over as if TikTok did, but the only difference is it's going to be ran by the U.S. government, so um, that's what's going to happen. I can't see them selling it. If it were me, I wouldn't sell it, uh, and if I were to sell it, they're, you, give me all your money, okay, because that's what it's worth, all your money. <laughs> that's what it's worth. So... I don't know. It's just a bunch of nonsense. I don't know. If you're going to ban TikTok, you might as well just ban Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. Ban them all. The only good one is this one here. YouTube. YouTube is amazing. Uh, it, it does no wrong, really. It, it really doesn't. Uh, when all these... Um, social media platforms are taken into um, court YouTube is not a part of this situation which is quite crazy because can YouTube continues to be uh, probably one of the bigger ones out today worldwide so I'm fine I'm on board with losing all the other ones uh, so if you want to ban TikTok, I say go ahead and ban Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat along with it. Because I, well, you know, I used them a lot when I was in high school, obviously, but when you find yourself outside of high school, you're not going to use that. You're not going to use that stuff. Trust me. Now, a lot of people that built careers off TikTok, I mean, here's the deal. I mean, you should always have a backup plan. TikTok should have never been your go-to i mean obviously it can be but you have to have like a backup we have another gas station here like a backup career obviously for those who didn't or don't i should say uh i i do feel bad um that, and it's like that anywhere you go honestly because any and everyone has the right to just drop you immediately uh regardless of where you work and how you work Unless you work for yourself, you are not safe. So, uh, we have another building here to our right. It looks like a fire station. I think that might have been in the game last time. I don't know. Uh, hard to say. Oh, what do we got here too? We got some other stuff. What is this? <laughs> Wilson Park. And then we got some buildings here. So it just looks to be like a, a pond, maybe. Okay. Now, the uh, the thumbnail to this video is going to be a bit different. You guys are going to know what I'm talking about when you see it. Uh, it's it's going to be a test of something. I'm testing something, so um, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. We're trying to get back to the ES. Uh, I guess I probably should have turned there, huh? Well, there's no one behind me. 
This is an empty city apparently, so we're just gonna do one of these maneuvers. There we go. Okay. I guess we'll just go back kind of the way we came. And it's right there. You can see the playground. I thought this was the middle school, though. Where's the middle school at? Oh, it's over there. Got it. Whoa, I'm off the road. So we will pull in this way up here. What does that say? Midwinter break? What does that mean? Midwinter break? Winter's not for another... Oh, what was that? Oh, okay, bustling. Okay. I don't know what that means. And we have to take a screenshot, don't we? Yes, we do. I'll do that off camera. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about TikTok, social media, all that good stuff um, while we review this update, uh, which is a great one, honestly. Uh, good for them. Uh, yeah, continue to produce updates because you don't want to stop. Not, not right now. It's not to say you will. I'm just, you know, if there's ever a doubt in your mind, should I stop making updates? The answer is no. No, you shouldn't. So... Yeah, this was the uh, Lawn, Michigan School Bus Simulator Update 2 Review. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys do wish to play it yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. If you guys had the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Look at that C2 driver. My goodness.